Hi, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to access QuickBooks data from a remote machine. So on to my left, this is my machine A that has QuickBooks, QODBC installed and doesn't have any of the client applications such as Access, Excel or SQL Server. And on to my right, there is machine B that has QODBC installed, has MS Access, Excel or SQL Server, the client application that I, I would like to use but doesn't have QuickBooks onto this machine. So let's get started. So first of all you need to install QODBC on both the machine and what we'll be using is QRemote. QRemote is basically used for three purposes. One is connecting with remote machine as we are will be demonstrating that and second one is using on 64-bit application and third one is with service-based applications so first of all onto your machine A let's start QuickBooks and log into your company file with using admin so you need to log in as admin onto your company file uh, for this demonstration, I'll be using sample company file. And second thing is to start Q Remote Server. So, Q Remote Server will be always onto the system tray. If you don't find Q Remote Server, you can start from the programs menu. Select Q Remote Server. So this is good. Now let us test connection onto this machine using QODBC. Purely QODBC doesn't use this Q remote. So we'll be using VB demo. We put data. Okay, it asks for the certificate hit continue yes done alright I'm able to query so this is good so I'm able to connect to my QuickBooks company file locally now let us do it on from the machine B so on machine B I have QuickBooks sorry Q remote installed using a uh, QODBC you need to install QODBC to get QRemote installed make sure you have the same version of QRemote on both the machines so here we won't be starting QRemote server if it is already running close the QRemote server so we, we won't be using QRemote server over here now let us configure the DSN first Go to all programs, configure QODBC data source. Here we have a pre installed DSN, we'll be using the same. Hit configure. You need to enter the IP address of the machine A. So let us jump back to machine A and see what is the IP. So that is one nine two dot one six eight dot one seventy nine dot one sixty nine this IP may be different onto your machine so just just verify it from your Q remote server and hit this remote DSN alright here you need to select QuickBooks data hit OK so this one is configured. Let us test connection using Q remote. Okay, so we are able to test the connection. Similarly, let us also configure DSN for 64 bit. So this one configure QODBC data source for 64 bit. This one is 
So I think we are good to go. Now let us test with PB demo. So in this one you need to select QuickBooks Data Q Remote. QuickBooks Data Q Remote will connect to the IP address of the Q Remote server running on machine A and it will fetch the data. So I'm able to use VB demo. Now let me test it with access. So I'll create a new database. Link table. QuickBooks data queue remote. Just quickly select a few of the tables. Right. Let us also perform a test with uh, Excel. Also test it with SQL Server. All right, so let us configure the providers first. Select M S. DA SQL with properties and make sure you have all the selected one two three four five six of them hit ok right click onto the link server and select new link server so I'm gonna name it as Q remote Now as my SQL server is of 64 bit, I'm going to use 64 bit DSN. If you have a 32 bit MS SQL, you need to use 32 bit DSN. So in my case, I'll be using 64 bit. So this is the DSN that I have configured with the remote IP. That is IP of machine A of Q remote server. and hit ok alright so let us test select start from Q remote alright so it's connected now if you want to if you want to verify what is the SQL server architecture that is if you have 32 bit or 64 bit just right click onto your SQL server and hit properties here you can find if it is of 64 bit or 32 bit if you have a 32 bit you need to connect to the DSN of 32 bit so that is QuickBooks data Q remote
I hope this helps. Thank you.